Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this sweet transition. You know, typically we have this circle transition thing going, right? But let's jazz it up a little bit and uh, make it look a little mm, funky. Bring in the clips. One and two. Let's go to effects, bring in cross dissolve. Right click on this cross dissolve and convert it to fusion cross dissolve. Set the duration to two seconds and let's open it in fusion. Let's disconnect this, delete cross dissolve, bring in a fast noise node. Let's drag that to the viewer. Let's go to the color tab of the fast noise node, increase alpha to one, go back to noise. Let's see from this color, let's go to gradient. Yeah, let's pick um, radial for the gradient type. And for the start value, set that to 0 0.5. So it starts from the center. Now what I want is a situation where this increases like that and drops down to zero. If I type 0 0.5 here, it's supposed to be completely white, but it turns black. So I need to add like 0 0.501 here. And um, we can now drag that up up until like maybe 1.3, then we'll be fine. So what we're going to do is yeah, right click on this, modify with XY paths, go to modifiers and check the keyframes. Right click on the X value, modify with anim curves. Recall that we started the value from 0 0.501. We're going to add, um, let's see, 0 0.75 to that. Then let's make the easing to be sign and expo so now if we play this back now we see it just flows like that cool the next thing we do shift space bar bring in a bitmap node connect this to the yellow input of the bitmap node drag the bitmap node to the viewer change under inspector for bitmap change the channel to luminance so we have this let's bring it right here like that so let's drag this up to, let's just say 0.99. So that way, if I go here, it's white, then it goes down to black. Let's bring in a blur node. Connect this, connect this to the yellow input of the blur node. Ensure it connects to the yellow input. You could accidentally connect to the blue input because it's a mask node, right? Let's drag that to the viewer, set the blur size to 100. Let's click in the middle of here so we see level of blur. Then we bring in another bitmap node. Connect this to the bitmap node. Now we bring in a merge node. Connect this bitmap to the foreground of merge one and connect this other bitmap to the background of merge one. Ensure they are connected to the green and yellow inputs and not the blue inputs. Drag this to the viewer. We see this, not exactly what we want. We go under operator for the merge, go here and click on XOR. Now for this bitmap node, sorry, this bitmap node, I'm supposed to have done a, a little thing here. If I click on this, I go here and I click on luminance. Then I go here, I make sure this is about 0.25. I make this um, 0 0.26, so it's something like that. We drag this to the viewer, now we have this for the XOR. The next thing we do, we bring in a transform node, connect this to the transform node, set this transform size to 1.5, bring in another merge node, connect the output of this merge node to this merge, and connect the output of this transform to the foreground of this merge. Drag this to the viewer, we have that. But we go to the operators, change this also to XOR. We bring in another transform node, just one more level of this. Connect this to the transform node. Let's bring that down here. Bring a merge node here and connect this to the background of merge 3. And connect transform 2 to the foreground of merge 3. Click on merge 3 and change the operator again to XOR. We drag this to the viewer have this going in for the size, set the size of this transform to three, and let's say 2.5 is better. 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.
Try next. The viewer. See this? You see that? Okay. Let me see. This is not connected yet. Connect properly. Yeah. So we have this. The next thing we do, we bring in another merge node. Connect this to background and connect the output of this bitmap to the foreground. Change this to operator for merge four now to XOR yet again. Drag this to the viewer. So we have this. We bring this media in one up here. Bring in a merge node. We bring in a background node. Connect this background to the background of merge five as the yellow input and connect media in one to the green input, which is the foreground. Now connect this output here to the mask input of merge five. Like so. Drag this to the viewer. See that. Fantastic stuff. Let's bring media into up here. Let's click on a blank space, bring in and bring in a drop shadow. Connect the output of merge fire to the drop shadow. This drop shadow distance, let's make it 0 0.025. Now bring in another merge node. Connect this to the foreground of merge six and connect media in two to the background of merge six. Now connect this to the media out. Drag media out to the viewer. And um, this background, I need to drop the alpha to zero. Great. So now let's play this white. One other thing we could do with the fast noise, click on the fast noise. We go under noise, C3, set this to 0 0.2. So it's not just static. So let's play that back. You see it moves like so. So now we have the wipe. We can package this as a wipe that you want to use on the edit page by selecting it from media in one to media in two. So we select like so from down here up there, right click on it and say create macro file, save as group, go to fusion, templates, edit, transitions. Let's just give it a name. Warpy circle white and save it. Let's um, close this. Let's go to the edit page. We can go ahead and delete this and go here and search under video transition, search for Warpy. And there it is. Drag this into the middle there. Let's increase the duration to two. And let's play back. So guys, there it is. Just a simple transition for you to work with today. You can download it in the description. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.